All right, welcome. Today I want to break down the SEO strategy for a recipe site. And you might be thinking, recipe site, well, yes, they get around 11 million uh, monthly organic visitors um, every single month. So it's monthly. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty crazy, strat uh, crazy site. This was recommended by um, someone on my Facebook group. I had no idea who these guys were. But they essentially dominate the rankings for anything related with recipes, right? They First of all, I'm going to go over into all this uh, schema markup and these rich results, which are essentially, essentially what makes it so these images appear here, these ratings, all this. Uh, but it's pretty crazy that a recipe site that we, you would think it's a... I guess, uh, not a commodity, but a simple site to create. Uh, they essentially dominate the uh, Google, Google and search engines for that, right? We can take, take a look at the traffic here. So in, uh, I mean, they've been around for a while now. I guess if you wanna go at zero traffic, we'd go for September 2019, right? But even in um, a year later, September of 2020, they had 100,000 uh, average organic traffic per month, right? And right now they're at 11 million with a maximum of 12 million. So it is pretty insane. And I want to break down or try to break down as best as I can their SEO strategy. So let me get uh, straight into it. Um, I do want to mention that this, that uh, um, I don't trust necessarily the numbers from similar web too much, but from what they give us here, uh, uh, almost 90% of their traffic comes from search, right? So they don't leverage social that much. Most of their marketing strategy and most of the traffic value comes from search, right? From search engines, which is pretty interesting. Now, the site itself, uh, it's quite interesting. Again, I'm going to go into the SEO strategy, but I first want to break down what the business is. Uh, it's interesting that it is a pretty simple site, right? Pretty simple site with just recipes, right? No fancy design, nothing. They even have some ads here. This was ad space, and there was a video popping up here before. So they even have ads in the... In the um, site, which is interesting, right? Um, I mean, they, you have to find a way to monetize it. I, I wouldn't think that this would be the, the way, but it's quite interesting. This is in Portuguese, so yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get let's get straight into it. Now, um, let me just fix my mic here. Um, I want to go right into um, the schema, because I think that's interesting. So um, before we look at top pages and all that, uh, how are they getting these? Most of you most likely know uh, how they're getting these. So if you write, for example, um, how to, or maybe um, rice with shrimp. I'm sure that's a recipe. Uh, some of these recipes pop up from different sites, right? With the ratings, then we reviews, the time that it takes to make the recipe, and then a little preview of how the recipe will look like, right? And how do you get these? You get these through schema, right? And I did a video on schema. You can watch it on this channel. Uh, it's called Schema Markup. Uh, what is it? How do you implement it? Um, but essentially schema are these little snippets of code that you include in the uh, page source. And if, if you go here, let, let's go to this one, for example, and let's do this view page source, right? And if we do a search for schema, we'll see here, oh, the code uh, for the schema should be in, oh, it was there. It's in here, right? Um, and then if you search for, uh, Things rating, rating should appear somewhere in here. I, I had it open on this one already, so I'll get just go to this one. Yeah, okay, so aggregate rating is a type of schema. Um, type aggregate rating, rating value five, review count seven. And if you go here, if we do, if we take the site, let's do this, let's do this. This is the page that I'm looking at here. This is the page source for this page. Uh, rating five, review seven, right? And this is what you put here in the code. Rating value five, okay, that's the rating and the review count seven. And that's how you get this. Then you can also add the image. Now, this is not anything new, right? Schema has been uh, has been around for a while, I mean, for a long time. And people use it for this, for, for a bunch of stuff. Um, but it's interesting that every single recipe on their site has this schema, right? It makes sense, right? They're, they're a recipe site. It would make sense that they'll have this schema. But it's interesting because uh, with all these videos, what I try to do is try to break down their strategy and what they're doing. And hopefully we, me and, me and yourself, can come up with a strategy based on what they're doing for our own sites or for our client sites. Um, 
But again, uh, going back to, into it, all every single recipe on their site, every single one, has this uh, aggregate, aggregate rating, sorry, recipe schema. As you can see here, it's insane. And if you want to do it, um, there's th this tool that can generate schema for you. <coughs> Excuse me, FAQs, how tos, job postings, local business. Because th there's multiple types of um, of schema. You have recipe here. <coughs> Excuse me, and you can add the image, right? <coughs> Sorry, uh, you can have a bunch of info, then you take this code. There's a bunch of WordPress plugins where you essentially just copy this code and paste it in there. And it will do it automatically for you. You can also paste this into the header of the theme, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but if you're not very uh, technical, you can always get a, a developer to do it for you. Then the aggregate rating value, as we saw there, let's do five. Number of ratings, that's the number of reviews, right? And then you just paste in this code and you'll get something similar. Uh, so yeah, I, do, I wanted to break down that first guy. I do think it's really interesting what they're doing in this regard, because they do pop pop off a lot. Um, so yeah, now let's take a look at their top pages. Uh, by the way, all this info that you're seeing here, uh, you can get on Vetted as well. Ooh. You can get it here on Vetted if you go to the campaigns. Okay, so I was already logged in on this other account. So as you can see, you can get all this data or similar data, top pages, top keywords, backlinks, competitors, all that uh, with uh, with this um, free tool on Veto. Just go to Veto.com, uh, sign up and click campaigns and you get all this. And a new feature is that you can connect your Google search console, which is pretty interesting, but I don't want to go over that uh, in this video. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at here at their top pages. Now, we can open a couple of these. And this, of course, is a tough one to analyze because for me at least I'm not into the world of recipes uh, but what I'm seeing here is that they don't have the pages that get the most traffic aren't individually individual recipe pages right as you can see here these are the 30 best these are the 25 easiest these are the 30 juiciest right so the top the ones that get the most uh, Clicks, rum cocktails, easy desserts, right? Are these multi recipe pages, right? It's not individual recipe pages like the ones we saw here, for example. These are oh, actually, yeah, this one is not individual, but this one is an individual recipe page, right? TikTok ramen, easy recipe. And it's solely the recipe for this TikTok, I guess, uh, recipe, right? But they do have a lot of these top 10, 25, whatever, 35, 14, 14. Um, but what, what I would assume is that they saw that these. 10 best, 30 best, uh, 25 amazing, whatever, we're getting most engagement. And I do think that um, on social media, this would uh, cause more clicks because uh, as a marketer myself, and if you're watching this, most likely most likely you're a marketer as well, uh, one thing that I would call more of your attention would be uh, the top 10 recipes instead of just uh, the recipe four, right? So that's why uh, based on the data, they looked at it and they started to create more and more of these uh, aggregates essentially uh, multiple recipes into one simple um, article and of course if you click each one of these it will go to the individual uh, recipe page of course uh, I'm interested to see if these ones have schema though the ones they do okay so they do have schema as well interesting it, it's a bit wonky because it says eight hours I, I'm assuming yeah it's for the, if you want to cook the whole 30 so it's interesting to see this here actually um, so yeah, as you can see, it's more of for the aggregate pages. I'm trying to look for any individual recipe pages right here. Uh, maybe I'm missing them, but I don't see many individual or any actually individual recipe pages here. Maybe I'm just missing them because I'm just skimming through these. Um, but yeah, as you can see, these, all these pages get a buttload of, of traffic. Uh, as you can see, this one gets 73,000 a month. And it's only 0.7% of their uh uh, traffic right so it's quite interesting it also ranks for 2,000 keywords so it's amazing what they did here uh, of course we do have to take a look at the content right this is not uh, these ads are weird uh, this is it is uh, also because they're producing quality content right it's not just about creating a recipe site adding schema to all the to all of the um, pages and it's it's there right uh, of course that the schema entices people to click because they see an image here which pops up they see this they see all this which is different from a regular search result but it's not just about that right it's also about optimizing the title here the description as well uh, and all that and it, of course it's also about optimizing uh, the content I'm sure all of these of course will have alt text on the images and it's pretty pretty basic stuff uh, I mean we can even do this right here we can even take advantage of the vetted um, SEO helper plugin this is free you can get it on, on the Chrome store uh, for free it's called vetted SEO helper um, 
we can take a look here. Interesting to see that they have 11 images without alt text. So I'm curious to see which ones are they. Okay, so yeah, never mind. It's not, not, it's just, I guess I'm guessing white spaces or something. So yeah, most of their images have, have alt text, of course. And it's all these little things that come into account. Uh, let's look at the headings here. One edge one, of course, it's a classic. Only, well, you, only, you should only have one edge one. And then, of course, you break it down from there. Um, so yeah, these pages are, are well done. Uh, one thing, uh, one thing I, I've seen a lot of people do is when they add images to the site, they add the Pinterest embed. Embed, sorry. And this essentially allows you to show both the image, which is what what you want to show the people that go to the site, but also uh, for people that have Pinterest, they can click here and save the pin. Also, it makes it so they have or they can leverage the photos posted on social media and post them on their site. I'm sure that this profile, the season mom isn't owned by, by, by insanely good recipes. I'm sure that they're just sharing a social post, uh, which is quite interesting the way they're doing this. So not just adding a bland quote unquote image file, they're adding an image file that links to social media, which people can save to their Pinterest boards uh, if they wish to. Um, again, all these link to an individual recipe page. This is interlinking, of course. Again, all these images are Pinterest images, some ads in the middle, a call to action here. Uh, once you have this recipe, enter our email. So the email capture here, quite interesting. Um, Pinterest is again, Pinterest is again. All these are Pinterest. Um, so yeah, very long form, detailed article, but it's straight to the point, right? These are the, th the 13, the title, the description. You can click, you can see the title because you don't want to just optimize for search engines. You want to optimize for the user, which people say this, but it's, it's true, right? You don't want to be scrolling through an article to find how you can cook rice. You want to see it up top. Um, again, when you... Oh, this is quite interesting. I click, I didn't even realize I click the, I click this and it sent me to a different site. Now, I am not sure if this site is owned by them as well, which would be a, a, a boss move, honestly. They are essentially dominating the, the whole SERP. They would dominate it, dominate it even more. Uh, or if this is maybe a sponsor, sponsored post, maybe something I'm not um, catching here, uh, but it's quite interesting that they're doing this. Um, maybe it ties in with their internal and not bond linking strategy. Strategy, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Um, this video maybe was a bit all over the place, but uh, someone recommended this site to me and I really thought it was interesting to see how come a recipe site has 11 million organic visitors. It's, it's insane. It's uh, insane. The, the amount of traffic is insane. And uh, my, my conclusion essentially is because they've been around for a while, right? Um, they do the schema very well. Uh, I do think the schema it plays a very, very important part in the organic traffic these guys are getting. I do really think that. Of course, I wouldn't say it's the primary one, but uh, if they weren't doing a proper schema strategy like strategy like they're doing now, uh, I would say they would, would not be cl uh, close to where they're at right now because the site isn't anything special, right? I'm sure the content is fantastic. I mean, it's a long form, detailed content, but uh, there's a lot of nuances here, um, which uh, which is quite interesting to look at. And again, most of the traffic comes from search, so so they're doing a fantastic job with it. Um, so yeah, um, shout out to I think it was Ren on my Facebook group that uh, recommended this to me. Uh, so it's quite interesting. Uh, thank you, thank you for that. Um, I do see here that they have the author author. So if I do here view page source, I'm assuming they have schema for the author, author as well. I don't know author right. Uh, what am I looking at here? Yeah, schema for article, right? Type article, ID, they have the page ID. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, author, yeah, of course. Yeah, okay, so they, they have, they don't have, don't just have one type of schema here. They have the author schema to give relevancy, authority, and trust to the article that's written here. Because with the valuable content template from Google, it's important to, when you write an article, associate a person with it, uh, with, with credibility. Uh, I think it's WebMD, the medical site, that when they post an article, they have, oh no, sorry, they do that as well. But in my other video uh, for the SEO strategy for uh, Investopedia, when they wrote an article about something, I mean, you can even look at it here, they had the, uh, let's do, they have the, the person who wrote the article and yeah, actually I actually had three people, um, I mean, we can do it like this really quickly. 
I know these videos are long, but they're essentially a breakdown, so I gotta make them, not, not that I gotta make them long, but they're longer, and I don't usually cut them, so just to bring this point home, uh, the fact that you shouldn't just write articles just because you should always attach a, a persona with it with them. Uh, as you can see here, an article about whatever this is, uh, written by this person, right, last updated, reviewed by this person, and fact-checked by this person, right? And all these have credentials here, yeah, they have the full bio, I think it links to their LinkedIn or editorial policies. So all this gives trust, relevancy, and authority to this piece of content. And on here, they're doing essentially the same thing, with this person here. So it's a combination of things. Hopefully this was valuable. It's 17 minutes, 17 minutes of video, a bit long, uh, but it's very, very interesting. Um, hope you liked it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, join Vetov, by the way, if you need any SEO services. Um, we're building, we've been building Vetov for a while now. We launched about seven months ago. Um, so if you need to hire any SEO professionals, uh, for their time or for their skills, you can do so here. Link building services, off page, link, off page services, on page services. Um, if you want to pick an SEO's brand, you can just go to their profile, schedule a consulting call, message them. Uh, and we're working on this managed SEO solution um, as well. I'm just rambling, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye bye.